Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Andersil, of course, and oh yes, it's time for some more Battlefield 3. Uh, I got some nice gameplay here on, oh, what the hell is it called, Tehran Highway or Tehran Highway. It is some defensive gameplay where I mostly play with uh, the tank, and I hope you guys will like it. I think I forgot actually to turn off my microphone when I was recording this, I think you can like hear my mouse clicks and shit like that. Hopefully you won't hear it too well, so to say. <laughs> so it won't be annoying. Uh, but uh, if you guys are wondering like what upgrades I have on the tank, uh, I thought I would cover that first. I got the canister shells uh, in this one. The... Oh god, what the fuck? No, I I'm drawing a blank. The... The canister shells, the IR smoke, and the reactive armor. That's what I have. That's that's what I have. <laughs> so I'm recording this commentary on uh, Friday, and I I probably will upload this video on Friday too. Uh, I'm gonna try to upload the three Battlefield videos and the Minecraft uh, live stream recording if I have time. I don't even know if I'm, I will have time to re upload this, but I'm probably gonna go out and have a good time with my mate tonight so I'm gonna be totally off YouTube soon to say and on Saturday I'm gonna spend the entire day with my family where they live so I'm not gonna be in the city anything and making any videos or uploading any videos probably so yes you guys know basically it will be kind of a, a video free weekend from me so to say and yeah I, I know it kind of sucks for you guys you know won't, you won't really have anything to watch but Fuck it, I need to get drunk and just, just be, be, be free, <laughs> get laid for God's sakes. <laughs> I, Ash needs loving too. <laughs> uh, but but uh, to the gameplay itself, I, I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit uh, of what I do kind of to succeed on this map. Uh, I'm, I'm right now to the right of where you defend and this is a great place to actually be because you get a lot of cover because if you start getting a lot of uh, pounding from enemy tanks and stuff like that you wanna like creep behind some, some cover so you can actually uh, disappear for, for a little bit so you, you won't lose your tank and uh, I'm pretty sure I actually don't lose my tank at all in this gameplay uh, or once maybe I, I'm not a, I'm not sure I don't remember now actually I just remember saving it because it was good and you guys have been asking for uh, tank gameplay and I haven't really given you guys that much I'm gonna try to give you guys some more jet and chopper gameplay too the coming days uh, because in all honesty I mean uh, I usually play rush and sadly there isn't that much uh, many uh, rush maps that are good where you can get a good score and at the same time like use jets and choppers and tanks so uh, I'm gonna try to maybe oh god burp uh, maybe try to play some conquest and stuff like that and uh, hopefully that will give me a better chance but th this is why I I don't like having the light machine gun or heavy machine gun because I much rather have a second shot in the tank the canister shot the canister shot does not make uh, any damage towards armored vehicle, but it do a ton of damage against uh, like cars, shoppers, jets, and of course people. That's what it's mainly made for. But you can pick out, you can pretty easily shoot down a helicopter or a jet with with the canister shots because it's simply like making your your tank a huge fucking shotgun it's it's really big like it's ball bearings basically in a tank shell and it's incredibly dangerous uh, it actually exists in real life it, it's not something that's just made up for this game uh, it actually does exist in real life so to say and and I think that's pretty pretty damn cool actually to be honest uh, it, it's a it's a pretty smart thing but then again it's been around for hundreds of years it's uh, canister shots has been around since there there were cannons on the battlefield basically so I mean they've been around for a very very long time and I I gotta give uh, my my teammates some credit here because I have a, a guy here uh, repairing me and I think there's also another guy that repairs me later on during the game and basically make sure I survive my tank doesn't blow the fuck up soon to say and that's always great so 
a good tip, the best tip I can give you is always have like a real life friend or some kind of internet friend or something like that that you can trust, so to say. It's not super important you can trust them, but basically that they want to like help you and stuff like that because uh, playing with someone that doesn't play for the same goal as you, aka winning and keeping tanks safe. Uh, is not gonna be good because some people just jump in the gunning seat just to gun a little bit and not to repair you because they want you to to seriously die so they can take the tank the next time it it, it respawns so to say so you kind of gotta be careful with that some people are goddamn sneaky some people are goddamn sneaky and I really like it uh, now how it's actually a distinct sound when a tank hits you and uh, for example an RPG hits you and stuff like that and also where it hits uh, I, I really like that I gotta say because it, it certainly helps a lot to like Distinguish like how much uh, how much danger you're in and stuff like that. And right now I'm on a 15 kill killing streak, so I'm like, oh yeah, baby, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, the, this server has one of the like kill streak cameras, and right here I'm like, oh god, let me shoot again. God damn, there's like a ton of people there, but I, I think I got only like one or two kills. The the gunner got most of the kills, and, and that's something that's good too. You actually get the 50 points for kill assist now uh, when you are the driver uh, and the gunner actually kills someone. I don't know actually what it is if it is a squad mate, because I th at, at least in my opinion I think you should get more for uh, for having a squad mate killing someone but in all honesty I haven't actually played that much chopper or jet or tank since the update happened so I don't actually know to be honest uh, so I, I won't really say but uh, I, I certainly hope it is like maybe 80 or 100 if it's a squad mate in the tank because that, that really would help especially since if you're in for example the, the dinosaur the uh, the heavy, the armored personnel carrier that you have here, where where people can spawn inside, you you guys know, you should know what I'm talking about. And also, like if you're in a tank helicopter, uh, because as a tank helicopter driver or a pilot rather, you don't usually get that many kills. It's mostly the gunner because you, as an attack helicopter driver, you usually only kill tanks and a, a few guys on the ground. I mean, as a gunner, uh, instead of the pilot, you can get a ton of kills. I think. I think one match I got like 75 kills as a chopper gun when I had a really good pilot and I mean uh, I think that was with Jack Frags actually, yeah I think so and I mean that's just crazy and I got like 10,000 points or something like that for that and he got like 3 or 4,000 points and I mean that, that's pretty stupid because I mean if he does a good job in his chopper I mean sure he, he gets more points but he really should get more points than that, so I'm kind of happy with this upgrade because before you got one uh, or you got ten points if uh, if you killed uh, if you killed uh, uh, if, if your if your chopper gun kill a guy and he's not in your squad. If he was in your squad, you got uh, twenty points, and now you get fifty points even if a guy isn't in your squad. So. At least that's pretty goddamn good. I, I like that, so to say. <laughs> very nice, I like it. It's a very good. Look at this godlike. Anders Yell is on 30 kill streak. And this is. Oh god, it, it's, it's so lovely because. I mean, the enemy has gotten one point, and now they're getting very, very close to getting the, the second one, so I'm moving up and making sure to aim as much as possible at stuff going for the objective, but now they're basically screwed, and there we go, victory. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of uh, tank gameplay as usual. Thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.